Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at capital expenditure, also known as CapEx. As we do in each one of these fundamental analysis tutorial videos, I'll give you the actual definition and then we'll go on to look at some examples and give you the more insight. Capital expenditure represents funds used by a company to acquire or upgrade physical assets such as property, plant, and equipment. CapEx is made up by companies to maintain or increase their operations. These expenditures can include everything from repairing a roof to building a brand new factory. Now let's go look at some examples. Capital expenditures can be found on the cash flow statements. We'll be looking for this example with the Walmart Stores Incorporated cash flow statement, looking at the annual data here. As you know, if you've gone through the tutorials, uh, videos going over the cash flow statement, you're familiar with this. But in case you haven't, uh, let me go ahead and um, break this down for you. The cash flow statement is broken into three main categories. You have the operating activities here. That section shows the amount of cash that would flow in or out of the company uh, through the operating activities, just running their business, their uh, actual uh, selling of the product or the service they do. And you also have the investing activities. Uh, this is another section when very important is so where you're also going to find in capital expenditures typically the first or second line under the investing activities where you're going to find that and then finally at the bottom you'll have the financing activities we'll get to that later but right now we're talking about capital expenditures uh, as the definition stated this is uh, any kind of um, you know investment that a company would make into its plants uh, or equipment and in, it can be to uh, improve the or expand the useful life of current um, plant property equipment, that kind of thing, such as putting a, a new roof on a building or buying a new building altogether. So in the case of Walmart Stores Incorporated, capital expenditures right here, you're seeing a negative number. It's $12.8 billion. I remember this is uh, written in uh, thousands, so you have to add three zeros to it. Uh, so you're looking at $12.8, $12.9 billion that they're investing into their company. Now, uh, that's how a company grows. That's, that's what you want to see. That's a, a good uh, idea and something that uh, you hope that every company is going to be out there doing. But just because a company makes investments doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be making money. You can make bad investments as well. So don't just look at the numbers and say, hey, they're making money uh, or they're in, uh, making money through their business. They're turning around, they're investing that. That's that's all good. It could be, could not be. Depends on what they're actually doing. You have to analyze it and, and read about what they're talking about in the actual annual reports and so forth and so on to see where's this money going. You can also look at the balance sheet. Uh, remember, you can always uh, use your cash flow statement, income statement, and and the balance sheet to uh, examine the actual movement of money and where they have these uh, situation here we have capital expenditures that are uh, being spent every single uh, period then you can look at the balance sheet and see in the long-term assets you'll notice it increasing not exactly dollar for dollar though because in the balance sheet you're going to have depreciation affecting those long-term assets so that's something to think about uh, overall I want to see them uh, successfully investing in the company that I'm investing in, I want to see them also investing. And I want to make sure that they have enough uh, up here. If you don't have, uh, the, like I mentioned in the previous video, the total cash flow from operating activities, if this is a small number, they can't afford to be doing this. So it's really important that you understand that the company has to be generating um, cash flow uh, and positive cash flow on the operating section in order to do anything else to expand their company and so forth and so on. So this is a very important piece of investing and analyzing what the capital expenditures are. Okay, quickly go over this and then we'll look at one more little item. I'm going to go into greater detail on ratio analysis and horizontal and vertical analysis, but uh, one of the items you can use whenever you're looking at the cash flow statement and you're looking at the capital expenditures, if you have companies that are in the same industry and uh, roughly the same size, uh, you may find it useful to, to compare the same time period and the, the uh, uh, capital expenditures of one company to another to see which ones uh, really trying to grow their business uh, another one may be um, you know hamstring by one method or one problem or another that keeps it from being able to uh, spend a great deal on capital expenditure so that's something you could look at you could also kind of get an idea on the size of different companies if you look at for example we can look right now at Walmart and see it's a 12.8 or 12.9 billion dollars but if we quickly go up here and look at Target TGT and we can click on annual data so we're comparing apples to oranges or apples to apples here we scroll on down the capital expenditures are only 3.2 billion dollars so a completely big difference there again these are not you know, these two companies are uh, not obviously the same size but it's important to know that you can you can look at these two things and make these kind of comparisons okay and again they are in negative numbers because the company is seeing cash actually uh, have to spend cash to make these capital expenditures and that's why it's like that
Okay, now you know. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.